What's up manga fans, this is Rafa from C Manga and for another review of Bleach this week's chapter 591, Marching Out the Zombies 2. So I have to admit this chapter had me laughing a lot more than I think I should have. Um, Mayuri and the uh, four Arankas were too hilarious from the get go. Charlotte definitely had me rolling up um, when he started insulting Yumichika. He's like, he's like, who's that over there? He's like, who's that ugly mop top with the terrible fashion? He's like, oh, I can't believe I've forgotten his name. And then we have obviously Yumichika um, easily riled by, by that because, you know, fashion is like he's pride and looking beautiful is what, you know, he's about. So that irritated him. And obviously Yumichika remembered killing him the same as Ikaku remember him fighting Lupi. So they're thinking, how the hell is he here? And the first thing, you know, Yumi Chika gets from him as a res or first response he gets from him is Charlotte insulting him, which was hilarious. And then we have the other Oranka, Don Dorino, looking for Ichigo. Um, Chirichu, Chirichu, um, Chirichu, sorry, I keep pronouncing that wrong, looking for Ishtar. And Lupi basically telling them, you need to be quiet. And it's like, because he said he'll kill us at, um, Mayuri will kill us at any moment. And obviously they weren't really listening, so Mayuri's like, you lot are talking too much, and he shocks them. And they're all screaming, say, look, look, he did it. It's like, I knew we couldn't trust him. And Lupi's even going on saying, I wasn't even talking that much. And Mayuri's like, and you're still talking, and shocks them again. That had me rolling up in tears. And um, as I said, um, it's finally actually kind of funny that after so many years, um, Kubo reveals, you know, officially reveals what... Um, Mayuri stole from Sezel's um, hidden basement in, in back in you know the Hueco Mundo art and I know obviously fans had their theories but nothing was actually revealed back then all we saw was two silhouettes of legs hanging so it's, it's been revealed it was the bodies of them that was stole by that um, executioner those skull guys I can't remember what they're called so yeah it's finally been revealed and um, the last funny thing I had um, was Charlotte again he, um, I think, was the only one who wasn't getting electrocuted, and he said, "Oh, but I'm different, though, aren't I?" He gets electrocuted, then he strikes a pose straight off. I just figure this guy is a complete clown. But you gotta love these characters. This is what I say um, is one of the things Kubo is brilliant at is the comedy. The comedy in Bleach always has me rolling up, and that, those moments were definitely um, hilarious parts of this chapter. So. Um, Onto the series part now, we see Giselle is basically taunting Mayu, saying, "You think your four zombies can deal with mine? I've got more than you. It's not enough." So obviously, Mayuri, with his intelligence, goads the um, four Aranka, basically saying, "Look, she said you're not all strong enough. Go and prove them wrong." So they're off to go and fight. But Ikaku and Yumichika are saying, "Oh, those are Eleven Squad um, members. There, um, that's our guys. You can't attack them." But Mayuri straight away counters saying, um, that's kind of funny hearing that from 11th Division squad member. It's like, you should remember that Shinigami have been obviously raised and taught that we have to defend the Serate at all costs. And any Shinigami that goes rogue or turns against it must die. This is the words from your late co chief commander, Yamato himself. And that makes them think. So Mayuri, as much as he's an arsehole and always thinks about reset, he does have some sort of principles. I guess you could say he's using this as an, ex as an excuse to test out his experiments, but this guy does have some sort of intentions as, as, um, for Serite, and then obviously in a way he needs to save it anyway because that's where his laboratory is and he wants to live. So yeah, it was kind of good to hear him bring out those um, words of wisdom from you know Commando y Yamato himself. And, that of and it's true, they're pretty much kind of, you know, need to be beaten. You can't just not fight the Shinigami, whether it's against their cause or not. So, um, what was interesting was they brought up that um, Don Dorino, when he was fighting the zombies, um, and he was hitting them and blood was coming out of the zombie Shinigamis, he was dodging. And Lupi was saying, why do you need to dodge? Um, you know, the blood shouldn't affect you because Ikaku... Um, had blood touch from him when he attacked Bambi and nothing happened to him so there shouldn't be any problem unless it's actually Giselle's blood that touches you so um, hearing that he's like okay fine I'll go all out so um, it's kind of obvious obviously um, it, it does make sense for them to worry that okay you know once a zombie passes on its thing Giselle being the original zombie passes it on the infection should be able to spread through blood but I guess because it's not actually you know if they're just under control and it's not their blood that's changed it would make sense that they can't be controlled um 
and I don't think it would really work anyway. Um, but either way, as I said, they don't have to worry unless it's Giselle's blood that's turned. Um, so Bambi is basically um, being healed by Giselle. She was on the floor, completely messed up, and Giselle healed um, her. And what was funny was Charlotte come along and he basically said, oh, it's very interesting. It's like I get a weird vibe from you. You remind me of myself. You're very similar. And I can obviously imagine he's basically referring to him being a man who's, you know, obviously changed their sex. So I could see by the look in Giselle's face that that bothered him a lot. And he's like, what? So he sends um, Bambietta to go and fight him in a rage. And um, this part was funny as well because um, Charlotte grabbed Bambietta and he threw him in the direction of where Mayuri was. And he claims it was an accident because Mayuri's like, oh, good luck. Um, is unlucky you missed and he's like oh my hand just slipped I didn't mean to um, intend to hit you which is obviously you know a lie and um, so Bambi comes back out and Charlotte's like oh damn so you're one of those um, enemies we can't just beat you down you need to be completely incinerated so he uses a serum and it looks like Bambi has finally bitten the dust and she's been vaporized hopefully because I just want her dead now it's kind of sad to see her used that way and I just want this fight to be over soon but when you think things are over, we get a surprising reveal by Kubo right at the end. Um, Bambi and Giselle basically says, oh, so Bambi wasn't able to do enough. Fine, Captain, you can come out. And who do we see? Zombie Captain Hitsugaya in the um, Quincy um, clothing. And you're, I'm, I'm assuming everyone was either roaring in rage he's fans or maybe laughing who people don't like him or just generally shocked i was shocked as well i was not expecting this so um giselle wasn't lying when he said that he's been making shinigami ever since he's gotten there so anyone who's fallen in battle was most likely being turned into a shinigami um, into a zombie um to do his bidding and i can assume maybe in yachiru when she disappeared that's where she um she's gone maybe she's been turned into a zombie and as you notice your chew's clothes disappeared hits a guy's wearing new clothes so maybe she changes them i don't know because of his weird um fetish or whatever and turns them into a zombie and I'll, i wonder if there's any other um shinigami as well as i said yuchiru ranguku was down as well after her battle so maybe she got changed and um yeah as i said i'm looking forward to see what happens next time the only thing I can say is um, I don't think they're dead. I think it follows the same theory I said um, last time, as in they can be revived. I think this is just another Kubo bluff like you did with Biaki on making you think they're dead, but they're alive. As I said last time, Quincy's are humans. They need to die to become actual zombies under Gis Giselle's control. Shinigami are already dead. They're souls of you know the dead world of Soul Society. They can be turned into a thing even though they're technically living, but by the laws of um, obviously Bleach, they're dead because they're souls now. So I, I think Hitsugaya can be saved from this. This is just a bluff, but it's still interesting. I want to see what Mayuri is going to do. Um, is he going to like incapacitate him without killing him? And then they'll, they'll um, when Giselle dies, they'll all be revived um, from obviously their zombified state, or maybe he might get killed. You know, who knows? But as I said, I still think it's Kubo just calling a bluff. Um, and it was interesting, it was a really good twist I like when Kubo does stuff like this and I can't wait to see what happens next week so you guys know the usual, if you enjoyed this chapter you got any pricks, opinions, predictions leave them in the comment box below and also if you're new to this channel, subscribe for more content I'll speak to you guys next time